<laughs> a lot of cloud cover for today through tonight, even through tomorrow. Temperatures will drastically drop through your Monday, so keep that in mind. Let me say this. It's going to be warmer in the morning when you're heading back to work and school than it will be in the afternoon when you're heading back home. So you may not think you might need that jacket in the morning hours, but definitely in the afternoon and then mostly dry conditions for next week. So you'll see that on the nine day forecast overcast skies for the Sunday morning. Yesterday we had a lot of sunshine with the clear skies and a decent low 50s for the afternoon high. This time is cloud cover, but we're actually going to warm up a little uh, nicely into the mid 50s in some spots. We're currently at 42. There is a wind chill of 36 and a wind flow about 10 to 15 miles an hour from a southwest direction. Olathe, you're at 44 with a wind chill at 39. Lee Summit's at 41, we feeling like 34, and Liberty at uh, 39 degrees. Let's compare that to Trenton at 36 degrees, Chillicothe at 40, St. Joseph 39. Lawrence, Kansas, you're at 41 and Butler at 41 and that wind flow coming in from a southwest direction. That is a warmer flow and the wind speeds will be about uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour. They'll slowly subside as we get into the evening hours, but still helping us out quite a bit because we are going to have limited sunshine all day today. Look at all that cloudiness over eastern Kansas and western Missouri. We're not alone. I mean, look at this. This is future scan. I'm going to start it uh, for this morning into the afternoon. Notice the cloud cover stays with us and eventually about uh, four or five o'clock. You start to see a little bit of pop up shower activity. I mean, very small stuff. All right, drizzle, maybe a light shower. There you go, like right there. And that's how it's going to be for most of the evening hours. So if you do get rained on, it's not going to last very long. It's nothing really heavy. And then this is going to be a very mild afternoon for this time of year. So we'll call it 53 for the afternoon high with that little spotty shower after 40 uh, after four o'clock into the evening. And let's talk about tomorrow. This is future scam for your Monday. And it's the same setup, right? But this time your rain chances not only increase, but it's more of a widespread light to moderate rainfall ahead of a cold front that's coming in from the northwest. Just as the rain begins to move out by late afternoon and we have some partial clearing, think, hey, we might get some sunshine. That is not the case because that is, well, you'll get the sunshine, but the cold air is what's slamming in. 40 degrees tomorrow morning. Watch this. As I push the button and we get into the afternoon, 37 degrees at midday. As we get into, let's say, 4 o'clock, 26 degrees. Kind of get the idea. The cold air just kind of takes over and is going to do so uh, for the next, well, let's say 36 hours once it passes on through. 43 in the morning, dropping temperature, dry conditions Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, looking good. Temperatures rebounding up into the upper 40s. And as of right now, the weekend looks dry all the way up to 40 degrees for next Saturday. We'll be right back.